Hello, hello, success coach Amy here with another flaming hot topic from Blaze, building a life with action, zen, and energy. Today, we're talking about schedules and monkey wrenches. Okay, I listened to a podcast about three, four years ago. And this woman was talking about how if you put something on your calendar, you have to honor it. You have a dentist appointment, parent-teacher conference, an interview, whatever. You're going to be there, right? What about stuff for yourself? I need to clean the pantry out. And I'm going to give myself 30 minutes to clean the pantry out. So I'm going to put it on my schedule. I'm going to put it on my calendar. I have to honor that. Nine times out of ten, you're not going to honor that. You're going to find another thing to do. You're going to find a way out of it. Whether you really wanted to do it or not, something's going to come up. So there's your monkey wrench. Don't know why it's called that. It's a monkey wrench. So this woman was saying, if it's not under your, if it's not on your calendar, it doesn't exist. And if it's on your calendar, you have to do the thing. And someone I remember had had emailed her about it later and said something to the effect that you know stuff just comes up emergencies happen she's like stuff doesn't come up and if you have an emergency it's so rare you know your kid's car breaks down so of course you have to go help your child I was like what what world do you live in I have four children and two dogs something's always coming up And of course, I put my children first, which, go back and listen to Seeds of Life, which there'll be more on that topic. I'm supposed to be taking care of myself first. But there are things where I say, no, 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 it's okay. I can go to the library another time. I can record my videos another time. I can do this another time. My child needs this. That's what most good parents say they're going to do. But again, is it really helping you? Is it really helping the child? They need to know that you matter also. So with all of these monkey wrenches, how do you schedule your days? Do you have time off? How do you schedule your time off? I took off on a Friday, didn't tell anybody. Started making my schedule. Next thing you know, Two of my kids wanted to go to the local pool. It's summertime. I went, okay, yeah, that's great. Oh, wait, I have to drive them. Okay, there are teenagers. They're old enough to stay by themselves for two hours. I can still go do whatever I want to do. But wait, there's still two more kids and two dogs. So how do I not have something pop up? How do I not have a monkey wrench be thrown in? This is life. You can't. You cannot schedule everything and you cannot say, okay, I can figure out every single if, and, or, but, shoulda, coulda, woulda stuff that's going to come up. You can't. That's not human nature. But you do your best to say, wow, is this seriously a necessity? Is this an emergency? Can this wait an hour? Can this wait a day? Every individual situation has to be dealt with individually. Okay. So again, I was starting to do the schedule for this Friday off. I was going to record some more videos and I was going to create a new outline for a course and other things. And I realized, wait a minute, picking the kids up and taking them to the pool might only be a 10, 12 minute drive back and forth. Oh, I forgot. I have to take the dog to the vet. That's super important. So I got to budget about 40 minutes for that because you never know if they might be running late. Then I was supposed to do something for myself and I put it on the calendar and I will be there. So I'm doing that. And that was early in the morning too, which is always nice because my kids don't get up that early in the summer. But then there's a couple hours where I still have some open time. And I need to say, I'll be back. You'll be fine. Because leaving my teenagers home is fine. They've been home during the summer for the last couple of years. They are safe. They're fine. I work right in town. It's not a big deal. 
but I really need to do my things. Now, the things I need to do in my house are super duper hard, mostly because of the dogs. So my younger dog is almost two and he's still a bit crazy. He's definitely calmed down the summer, but he's definitely still crazy. Uh, and my seven year old dog, she is my shadow and she is still not happy that she has a little brother. <laughs> Even though he's been here for almost two years, she's still not happy with me. So she still follows me. So I have to be extremely calm myself I make sure the kids are calm, which is difficult even as teenagers. And we have a small house. So it is, when I have a project I wanna do, it's usually just a little corner that I'm trying to reorganize. I've been purging some things, which is really hard for me to do, but I know certain things I'm just not gonna use. So I am going to throw it out, donate it, whatever the thing is. But again, I have to put that on my calendar. And I have to let people know that. That's the other thing. So at six o'clock today is Wednesday. So six o'clock today, I am going to cook a nice dinner. And you child are gonna help, and you child are gonna help, and you child are gonna help, and dogs are gonna go away. <laughs> They're just gonna go in the other room somehow. And that's the end of it. And then again, there's this little corner that I really want to reorganize. I don't know when to do it. Because again, something always comes up. And again, it's not anything that's an emergency, but it's just enough of a distraction. And I'm very easily distracted. I, I guess you would call it official. I, well, I have generalized anxiety disorder. I've had that for many years. Millions of people have that. Doing good with my meds, doing good with therapy, it's fine. I'm working on it, working on me. But recently I was like, something else is going on in my head. I'd love to blame menopause, I'm 50. I'd love to blame the heat, because I hate the heat and it's summer. I'd love to blame the pandemic, but this is just me. And I'm forgetful, my focus is not great. I've had issues for years. So again, pre-pandemic, pre-pre-menopause, it's just me. I have too much in my brain. Don't know how to really take care of all of it. I used to do all the lists. I used to do all the organization things. I love the Dollar Tree, so I would buy little baskets and, oh my gosh, way too much stuff. So lately, I was, recently I was diagnosed with mild ADD. So attention deficit disorder makes sense, not rocket science. It's not a surprise to me. I already knew it. I just kind of needed that diagnosis to say, yeah, but now we can move forward with the way I'm doing therapy or the way the resources that I'm looking up. Um, same thing with my kids. They need better structure. We need a time schedule. And that's really hard with teenagers, three of them. My oldest is 22, he's out of the house, but let me tell you, he still needs mommy, which is fine. I've said that before, but there's still so many things that I need to teach him. And you don't know something until you ask or you run into that situation. But again, when it's not on my calendar, it's like, hey mom, can you stop over after work to do this, this and that? And it's like, well, I kind of can't. It's gonna have to wait a day or two. And most of the time that's fine. Every once in a while, something's going on and he really needs me to pop over. Well, lucky for him, I live and work down the street from where he lives. So that works out, that's fine. Same thing with my three teenagers who I call the little kids. Uh, one or two of them usually text me every single day with something. A text to me means it's, again, asking a question, letting me know something, it can wait. So if I'm in a meeting, I will not always respond. If I am driving, I won't respond. If I'm with a client for my day job, I won't respond. Now, if they text me three or four times, mm, it seems like it's probably kind of important, 
but they haven't called. So I'm like, Ugh, no one's on fire, no one's bleeding. It can still wait another 15 minutes. But that's hard because I have a schedule for my day job. I see my clients and when that time runs over, then it bumps into the next client and the next meeting and my paperwork and this and that and it's tough. Again, throw in four kids and two dogs, it's difficult. Monkey wrenches are everywhere. So how do I solve that? I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, please tell me, how do I solve that? Message me, let me know what you're doing to solve that because I don't know. Every day is different, but that's how I look at life. Every day is different. Every day I wake up and there's new challenges. There's new situations to deal with. And that's life. You're not going to have the same thing every single day, no matter what. You're just not. You can go to work every single day and you have to take care of the dogs and the kids. Yeah. But the specifics change every day. And that's okay. That's when it comes to self-care and self-regulation, breathing, meditation, whatever you want to call it. You got to take care of yourself so that you can take care of everyone else in your life. So I'm still working on my Friday schedule because it's coming up. I'm still going to do the things I want to do, but I'm going to be lenient with my time. I'm going to be understanding when something's running late or it just doesn't work out. And guess what? My kids are going to have to understand when I'm running late and things don't work out because I pretty much always run late. That's just my thing. I'm working on it, but it's my thing. So think about it. Think about your days. Think about how you schedule things with your family, yourself, whatever. It's a lot. It is. Deep breaths. I say that a lot. I think I'm going to get a tattoo. It says calm. I've already told my kids either calm or deep breaths or something like that. At any rate, take care. Until next time, wishing you health, wealth, happiness, and freedom.